Thank you for coming to this channel, Mr. Professor or Gyosu Aja in Korea. In this video, we're going to cover the Noldas Gadam theorem. So let's look at the theorem. This is about upper and lower bounds for the sum or product of the chromatic number of the graph and its complement. So in this video, we are going to prove the four inequalities. The first, we've proven upper bound for the sum by using induction on the number of vertices. So when n equals one, the chromatic number of the graph and its complement just equals one. So this inequality holds. And now assume that it is true for less than n, okay? So by applying the induction hypothesis to g minus v for some vertex v, okay, then we have this inequality, okay? Well, note that um, the chromic number of graph g in here, okay, and uh, well, you may think about the g minus v by removing one vertex, so g minus v in here, okay. Then the chromatic number of the whole graph is at most the chromatic number of g minus v and plus one, because we may need additional color for the vertex v, okay, to cut to to cover the whole graph, okay. And similarly, we can also have uh, uh, this situation for the complement, okay? So by putting together, okay, so because this is at most, well, we know that the summation of those two is at most n. So putting together, so this and this at most n, and we need to add uh, uh, two more. So that's why the summation of this is n most n plus two. However, we actually need n plus one, not n plus two. Okay. Well, but the worst case that we may want to avoid is uh, actually this equals this and this equals this. Okay. So like this. Okay. But if this happens, so for look at look at this one for example. So graph graph g minus v in here, okay, and the vertex v in here. So for the whole graph g in here, okay. If we need uh, one additional color for the vertex v, what does this mean? This means that if you think about the neighbors of vertices, okay, if you think about the neighbors of the vertex v. We already used all the colors for the graph G minus V. So we need to add, actually, we, we need one additional color for the vertex V in here, okay? This means that the number of neighbors or the degree of a vertex V is at least this, this, okay, the degree of vertex V is at least the chromatic number of G minus V because we already used all the colors for G minus V, okay? So, and then we need one more color, okay? So that's why we have this inequality. The similarly, okay, we can also have this inequality for the complement. But the, the complement, okay, in the complement, okay, the degree of vertex V actually uh, the m minus one minus degree of vertex v, okay? So now if you think about the summation of those two again, okay? And we know that this is at most this, and this is also at most this one. But in here, the putting together, look at, look at this, putting together this one, this is at most the degree of vertex v, and this is at most the degree, uh, m minus one minus degree of vertex v. So in here, degree vertex v plus one. And this one is m minus one minus degree of vertex v in here plus one. So this is cancels, okay? And this is cancels that we have m plus one in here, okay? So which gives the desired result. 
Okay, now uh, let's prove a lower bound for the product. Okay, and this proof is actually uh, simpler than the previous one. Okay, well, if uh, the chromatic number of graph G equals K, then, well, we can think about the vertex partition, like a V sub one through and V sub K. And you can assume that the uh, size of V sub I plus one is greater than the size of V sub I, okay? So V sub K, the size of V sub K is the maximum, okay? And of course, and uh, each V sub I is independent, which means that there are no edges in here. So what that means actually we color this the vertices in V sub one just one here like that, okay? So because okay, the V sub k is the maximum one, okay? And if you add okay all this is equal to n, but this is the maximum one. Okay, so which means that uh, this is actually the at most the k times v sub k, but this is equal to n, so this is greater than equal to n in here, which means that v sub the size of v sub k is greater than equal to n over k. What does this mean? V sub k in a graph G, okay, so this is a independent set. So if you think about the complement, which means that this is the complex graph in the complement. So the chromatic number of the complement is uh, at least n over k, okay? So if you think about the product of those two, because uh, the, this is equal to k and this is greater than equal to n over k, so we prove, okay, the lower bound for the product is at least n, okay? And uh, the next two inequality actually much simpler to prove by using the previous two inequalities that we already proved in here, okay? So in here, let's think about the lower bound for the sum, okay? How can we have this one? Well, you know, we have this inequality. Actually, you know, A plus B squared is greater than equal to four times a b, okay? Because you can make it this is a minus uh, b squared. Actually, it's greater than equal. So, so we can have this one actually, okay? So we we can have this inequality, okay? And uh, in the previous slide, we proved that the product of those is greater than equal to n, okay? So this, the pro, the square of this, the summation of this one is greater than or equal to 4n, okay? Then if you cancel in here, then we can show that that is greater than or equal to two times the square root of n. So you can have square root in here, okay? So then we prove that this lower bound, okay? And the last one is about a upper bound for the product, okay? Well, in the previous slide, okay, okay, we we actually already proved that the, the summation, okay, the sum of those two is at most n plus one, right? Okay, and uh, well, this inequality comes from actually the four four a b is at most uh, a plus b square, the same situation, okay, okay. And then we already proved that this is at most n plus one in here, right? Okay, so that's why this is at most this one, okay, which is equal to this one. So we proved all four inequalities. Thank you for watching.